They're so bad. They're so burnt out. They did warn that this is really expensive and they were so right. Five ways to style this corset for Valentine's Day. I'm really excited about this because these are bomb. And a half of an entire rotisserie chicken, bones and all. I can't wait to dig into all of this. Michelle singing Super Freak. To the vlog as you guys saw i uh, got a little workout in i am literally rushing right now though because i need to fix these nails they look just awful they're so bad they're so burnt out so i have an appointment with my nail girl and i just got back from the gym and i am starving i had like half of a perfect bar but i need something more substantial and i was trying to decide like do i just make something at home and eat really quick or do I just head to the mall early and see if I can pick something up and I'm thinking I want a smoothie either way I think I'm gonna stop at the Whole Foods that's at that mall and pick something up for myself whether it's a smoothie a slice of pizza whatever I just did not want to cook myself anything right now I think it's just because I'm so stressed and I just wanted to get out of there so yeah I'm gonna get my nails done I'm thinking I'm gonna go nude I think but we will see how it goes. But the first thing that I need to figure out for sure is what I'm gonna eat. Okay. Okay, just got here. I'm trying to get myself situated. I haven't worn like a fitted leather jacket or a leather jacket in so long. I feel so freaking restricted right now. But gotta get all set up here. I can't forget masks, but I am such like a creature of habit. I have no idea why I didn't just park closer to Whole Foods. I parked literally across the mall from Whole Foods and it's not like because it's the closest spot to my nail salon. It's just because it's where I always park. Like I could have made this so much easier on myself. I swear to God, the worst sometimes. Now I got my feelings at the door. Wanna take a flick right now and then we'll rock slow Cradle me back and forth, baby, need a bit Part enough and all my ass Bang a neck to on ya Lips, hit the on the rocket Shit, oh, 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 oh. I'll be fine, that's a fine wine But wanna discover a deeper connection Photo shoot of your mind, right? Gotta know your good size and all of your angles No wasted potential Cause baby, you special And always first, you the one to one Two lists just like two lists Shout out like you Thanks, we got shot by Q Did now I got my feelings at the door Man, I feel so stupid Romance, I ain't feel weak Could you teach me thing or two more? Alright, nails are done You guys saw them, but I'll give you guys a Another look, beautiful, just like, well, 
I just like I wanted just some simple nude nails I love the shape it's like in between pointed and rounded it's actually the shape that Michelle got on her last appointment so I literally told my nail girl give me the shape you gave Michelle and then I had a picture too but she remembered exactly what the shape was but love them they look so good if you're like wait you're in Southern California how are you getting your nails done shady ways I'm just gonna be honest it's a little sus but it is my regular nail girl so it's not actually it, I'm making it sound like worse than it is. It's done in a clean facility. But I'm just happy that I'm able to get it done because I did not want to go through that whole ordeal again. Do you guys remember lockdown 1.0? That was just awful. And to my own nails it was an absolute nightmare. I'm not being dramatic. Like the dip just kept popping off every two days. So I was like, there's no way in hell I'm gonna go back to that. But as you guys saw, I wasn't able to get a damn smoothie because apparently the smoothie bar closes at noon. So I just grabbed like a green juice and I am starving. My appointment started like a half hour late. So I am just like so hungry, but I'm trying to debate if I should pick something up or just go home because I have a lot of, sorry, yellow light. But I have a lot of really good snacks at home and like stuff to make a lunch. But do I want to go through that effort? That's the big question here. Like that's, that's the debate. Um, honestly, ugh, damn it. Yeah, I should go home and just make food and save money. Cause that green juice was so fucking expensive for a green juice though I should know that. I live in Southern California where you spend like $20 on a green juice. It just still hurts every single time you do it. It wasn't actually $20. It was like $6.75 and then I got a discount because I'm a Prime member. I didn't realize you get like discounts on stuff at Whole Foods when you have Amazon Prime. I'm so far behind in realizing that. But yeah, that was just a lot of money for something that didn't fill me up. So I spent money on that. I really should make something at home. Okay, so I'm like over by the airport, but like look at the freaking sky behind the airport. It looks so pretty. Oh, right over here. Just fucking stunning. What the fuck? Wow. Such a pretty sunset. All right, back home, obviously. And I had just like some chips really quick to just you know satisfy my hunger but i have been wanting to make this like recipe that i've seen basically i saw a while back that you could just do like a one sheet pan kind of situation with the trader joe's cauliflower gnocchi and some sausage and a roasted vegetable of your choice i'm going with brussels sprouts and i've literally had the ingredients for this thing for probably three weeks and i just like never freaking got to it. I mean, I got fresh Brussels sprouts, but I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. It seems like it's gonna be a really, really fast recipe too, which I appreciate. Very easy, low key, you know, you just dump everything right on there. So I'm just gonna lay some foil down, which I keep forgetting we need foil. I'm about to run out. Shoot. I wonder if just because of the amount of stuff I have, I should use two pans. Let's we'll see how this goes. Okay, and then we're switching things because actually I did not get fresh Brussels sprouts. That was my bad. So we're gonna do some roasted kale. I think that that's gonna be fantastic. So I'm gonna do that in a separate pan because it's gonna need a lot more room. But just some chicken sausage. I like the garlic herb from Trader Joe's.
So I'm just going to leave that in. It's actually almost time to stir up the gnocchi and the um, sausage, but I have like five minutes. All right, halfway point. Whoa, that was loud. Sorry. Let's see how this looks. Looking pretty good, not looking quite crisp yet, but you know, that usually will just take time. I'm gonna flip all of these. Sausage is getting nice and browned here for that. If the gnocchi doesn't start getting browned in like the next five minutes, I'm gonna bump up the heat to the high broil because I want, I want to see some char on here. Oh, we got a couple of brown spots. Okay, okay. Still, it needs more. I expect more. And then for the kale, it actually needs to start it open and it's already cooking down. Getting some brown bits. Oh, love. Lost a piece. But wow, that cooked way down, way fast. This hasn't even been in here for five minutes. I'm gonna put everything in there for another 10 minutes at least. Okay, so there's the sausage and the kale. The gnocchi needed probably about five minutes under the broiler on high, so I put it back in. But these two are done for now. I just combined them in one pan, and this looks so good. Okay, so here is the baked cauliflower gnocchi. I actually ended up baking it, or broiling it, I should say, for another like 10 minutes or so. So just know that if you want it extra crispy, I would highly suggest to do the broiler. But I've already started plating this, just a big heaping of the kale on the bottom. Now I'm going to add the gnocchi with the sausages, then I'm going to top it off with a little bit of pesto bitchin sauce and maybe just a sprinkle of parmesan. Okay. Let's try this baked cauliflower gnocchi. Mmm. Okay. I like it baked. It's still a little bit chewy on the inside, but I like the crispy crust on the outside, so I will take it. But the baked kale is really good too, especially with the bitchin sauce, because bitchin sauce just makes everything better. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Bye. Trevor's trying to get to the gym. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I just got back from the gym and I also went to Whole Foods. So I thought I'd do a little Whole Foods grocery haul for you guys. I just like went to go get snacks and you guys know Whole Foods snacks ended up totaling $40. So I thought it might be interesting to see what $40 gets you worth of snacks at Whole Foods. I mean, honestly, not everything is snacks. I got like a few things that are not. For example, first things that I got were these. These are the Whole Foods brand grain-free canned dog food. I got the chicken, turkey, and salmon feast, and then the beef and lentil feast. Spart is just out of his wet food, and I didn't want to have to make two stops at Whole Foods and at Target, so I just went ahead and got the Whole Foods one. So, you know, we'll see how he likes these. Then for, you know, human food. First thing that I got, you guys have seen me get these before, and I usually get them at Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's hasn't had my favorite flavor the last few times. I want so I got them at Whole Foods but they are the go macro bars I love these just like for a quick snack like if I get home from the gym and I am starving but I don't have time to make myself something I'll have either half or a whole of these depending on how hungry I am or whether or not I know I'm able to get lunch in just like a little while and I just need something super fast but my favorite flavor is the double chocolate and peanut butter cups it's so good super indulgent but it's got like high protein in here 11 grams of protein and stuff so it's just like a good quick like refuel after you work out and then I also got their cherries and berries flavor I've never tried this flavor before but we'll see how I like it I totally forgot to check to see if that has coconut. Shoot. Okay, good. No coconut. I don't like coconut. I hate the texture of it. So that was going to be a problem if there was coconut in there. But luckily, we are good. I'm just going to leave the pantry open because I'm going to put stuff away as I show it to you guys. Then I also got these. These are the Milk Bar Chocolate Confetti Cookies. I've seen these around and I've been very curious about them. I love cookies. I'm obsessed with cookies. So I'm always looking for, you know, good cookies to try and I couldn't decide between the confetti one or the chocolate chip one so I went with the chocolate confetti one because you know seemed like a good compromise 
So I grabbed those. I also grabbed these Unreal Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. These are supposed to have like less sugar than traditional peanut butter cups. So I'm gonna try these out, see how I feel. I'm gonna compare them to my favorite cups, which are actually the Trader Joe's Dark Chocolate Almond Butter Cups. Those are so freaking good. You guys have never seen me get them because I rarely, rarely ever get them because they are so dangerous. I can literally sit there and eat a whole tub in one sitting. It's like really bad and I'm not talking about like the small one I'm talking about the big one because they're so small that it's just easy to keep snacking on them so these are a little bit bigger these are more the size of traditional Reese's so I think that I can have a little bit more self-control with these I also got these cheddar cheese minis from late July I'm actually gonna go ahead and try one right now but something about these just sounded really intriguing and really good so I picked up a box of this I just want to try one of them or actually I have to do two because and weird and I'm OCD with my poop. Hmm. I like these. These are good. They're a little dry, but I'm also super thirsty, so that could just be me. But I like those a lot. Those are really, really good. And then I also got something that's like for dessert. The first thing that I got are some mixed berries. I don't know why. I'm more likely to eat my fruit if I get it in like these these like pre-packaged things especially with things like strawberries because I don't want to cut it so I actually prefer to buy them pre-cut which I know may sound dumb because it's more expensive to buy them pre-cut but honestly it's even dumber if I go and buy two or three regular cartons and then I just like never use them and throw them away at least this way I'm more likely to eat it so I got this and I want to top it off with some of this this is the coconut cult probiotic coconut yogurt in chocolate mousse I've seen Delaney Child and Clayton talk about this here on YouTube and I've been very very curious about it they did warn that this is really expensive and they were so right this thing was ten dollars which is just so dumb but it's pretty healthy and if it's good and it makes a good dessert alternative to me it's worth it so I'm thinking I might just like do a small bowl of this and then top it off with a scoop of this and I think that that would be good for satisfying like my ice cream cravings at the end of the night and stuff also because I ran out of the Trader Joe's hold the cone so instead of going back and getting that I was like let me see if there's something that's you know a little bit better for me that I can sub in for a dessert so like I said I'm very excited to try this I'm hoping it's good serving size is two tablespoons dang but actually you know I'm just I'm so curious that I want to try this right now so we're gonna try just a little tiny taste of this i just realized too this is the second time that i've gone to whole foods in this vlog i normally actually don't even shop at whole foods but i really wanted to try this coconut cult really really bad and they don't carry it at sprouts which is closer to me than whole foods so you know i kind of didn't have a choice there but open this up it's kind of like runny and it kind of smells like coconut mmm that may not work for me but we'll we'll see Hopefully it doesn't actually taste like coconut. That's where it could be an issue. But yeah, I'm just gonna take a little spoonful. Yeah, it does have a hint of coconut, but it's actually not too overwhelming. It's not too bad, so. That's good. I could do this for dessert with some berries. Like I definitely could. So later tonight I'll hop back on after dinner and we'll actually like assemble a dessert together and we'll see how all of this works out. I might do this, this, and then like maybe a peanut butter cup or something. Then the last thing that I got isn't really a snack and I need to use it right now, but I just got some eggs cause I really wanted eggs today and I'm almost out. So grabbed one of these and let me go ahead and put them in here. Oh shoot, I have four left. I thought I had only two left, so I don't know. I'm gonna have like two eggs just hanging out somewhere random. Okay, but anyways, that is everything that I got from Whole Foods. I will try stuff out during the week, let you guys know how all of the different snacks are. I think the only thing that I actually need to try for you guys are the peanut butter cups and these milk cookies, actually. So I'll definitely make sure to try those like on this vlog, so I don't leave you guys hanging on those. But for right now, I'm gonna make my lunch. Like I said, I'm gonna have some eggs with Spartacus, which you guys have seen me make a million times, both on vlogs and on what I eat in a day, so I don't think I need to actually go through that. But, oh, actually I did want to show you guys one thing that I unboxed yesterday that I didn't vlog. One second. So I upgraded my keychain because I was getting really annoyed watching me pull out this like 
gross looking lanyard from my beautiful bag that I just got. And I was watching Tara Michelle and she was showing some products from some small owned businesses. And she showed this like little keychain lanyard that was like designer inspired from a small business called Shop Revival. So I went on and I actually got one of them. This one is their holiday one. It's like a Louis Vuitton embossed inspired print and it's in red, which I got the red because I just wanted to make sure that it's like easy to see because I lose my keys very, very easily. But I love this. I'm obsessed with this it looks so much nicer than using like my gym's lanyard and I love the length on this it's perfect for wearing it as like a little wristlet and when I have a lot of things to carry it's nice to like have it right here as opposed to like putting it around my neck I actually really prefer this so this was just like really cute it's exactly what I was looking for and I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you guys if you guys are looking for something like this for your keys or if you just like want to support a small owned business a woman owned business I will make sure to link the site down below and also the social medias for shop revival all right we got some eggs ready for a certain someone. You excited? Come here. Uh-uh-uh. Sit. Sit, sir. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you eat them way too fast, dude. Way too fast. Okay. So I told myself I wasn't gonna do an unboxing in this vlog, but I am because I got a new package right now. I don't know what it is, but I've been getting back into Old Navy. Super random, I understand. They just kept serving me this one ad for this really comfy jumpsuit and I just like, I gave in and I was like, all right, well, I guess I'm buying a jumpsuit. But I got a jumpsuit and a pair of joggers just, you know, to hit the free shipping minimum. Hi. Are you just insisting on being just on me? Okay. Anyways, so here is the jumpsuit. I'm not going to try it on, but I am going to shoot it this weekend. So don't you worry. You guys will probably see it on then. Oh, good. Please chew on your bottle. Fantastic. But how comfy does this look? It looks so cute. I plan to do a video of like five ways to style this where like you can actually wear this out and not just like as a lounge piece for the house so keep an eye out for that video got mine in a size medium and like i said you guys will see it this weekend i'm gonna shoot it when i meet up with michelle we are gonna meet up on sunday and then i also got some joggers because i can never have enough right now and wow these look super comfy i still need a shower from the gym so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and shower and stuff and i'm gonna put these on it's now time for dessert. Oh my gosh, please don't fall. I got my fruit, I got my coconut cults, and then got my peanut butter cups. Actually, I think these are individually packaged, so. Yep, they are, how cute. Oh my God, the fruit looks so good. So I'm just gonna get like a good mix in here. And then a serving of this is two tablespoons, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. All right, so there's what it looks like. It looks really, really good and very healthy, but still a good, sweet dessert. All right, so giving this a try with the fruit. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. And this is like the perfect ice cream replacement. Mmm. That is like my new favorite healthy dessert. That's so good. Super fresh. I'm kind of pissed that this is $10, but actually I feel like there's actually a good amount in there that probably will make still like four or five more servings. So I guess it's okay, but let's go ahead and try this peanut butter cup. There it is. It has a little embossed unreal on the bottom. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Okay. This is good. For sure, this is a staple now, too. Just for reference, this is 80 calories per serving, which is one cup. One cup is one serving. It has eight grams of fat, five total sugars. So I don't know what a regular peanut butter cup is, but it's definitely going to be way more than that in sugar. So that's actually not bad. Mm. Like, seriously, this peanut butter cup is amazing. I'm kind of expensive for the pack, but... I think it's worth it. For this coconut cult, it says that packs a punch, so start with just a couple tablespoons, which is what I did. It has 70 calories for two tablespoons, only three grams of sugar, which is not bad at all. And then the ingredients on this are organic coconut cream, organic coconut nectar, organic cacao, and a custom probiotic blend, which I'm not even gonna try to read all of those off. If you guys want more info, I would just look this up online, but yeah, I'm very very impressed with this like whole 
little dessert mix. I'm into it. This is very delightful and just such a good alternative to like ice cream and stuff. Good morning, you guys. It's Friday. Just made my coffee. And if you watch my morning routine, the reason why I'm not in my gym clothes yet is because I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to go. I think that I will. I'm just going to do like a quick cardio day, but I don't know. I feel like I deserve a rest day because I've been going hard the last like few days, but not sure yet. So I just decided to stay in comfy clothes and really quick PSA, you guys gotta say Old Navy joggers. These are the shit. These are the best joggers I've ever gotten. And I've gotten a lot of joggers this year. So for me to say that, you guys know you gotta try them they just like they fit so well i got the mediums and usually i have to size up to a large to get like a good loose baggy fit but the mediums fit perfectly they're baggy but they're not too baggy it's just like the perfect amount for that balance between comfort and flattering they're also just like super super soft and then i love the tie waistband on here it's not too tight but it still fits nice and snug so highly recommend old navy joggers i definitely want to get them in like all the colors that are available because they are so good and of course you know they have pockets which is always a win but i wanted to show you guys this really quick because i just couldn't stop playing with this last night my sister and her family got us one of those like uv light boxes this is from the brand total defense and i have been loving this basically you put your item inside and then there's a uv light here and you can put it on for 5 15 30 minutes just depends on how long you want to sanitize it for and it'll sanitize the item so i've actually been going through all of my sunglasses and doing them i'm not sure if this is required to be plugged in let's see because like it said that it had a charger and I've had it on the charger overnight, but I don't know if it's required. Yeah, you do need to plug it in. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the box and then you just press it and decide how long you want to sanitize for. Those are the sunglasses that I always bring to the gym, so I'm going to go for the full 30 and you just leave it in for that time. And when it's done, you have newly sanitized sunglasses. You can do keys. I did my keys last night. You can do your phone, which is always like a big hot spot. Your face mask, rings, whatever you need to do, you can sanitize right in this box, which is just like so nice, especially for right now with coronavirus and all of that stuff going on this is like the perfect thing to have but yeah i just want to share that really quick give a little psa in case you guys like need something like this highly recommend and i think that this was actually pretty affordable so i will find it and i will link it in the description for you guys okay i got a bunch of stuff in from boohoo and i thought i'd do a little impromptu try on haul for you guys because i got like a lot of really good things in here clearly there was a theme of red and gray for some reason i don't ask i just i did that I don't know why. Here is the first look, a little bit of a mixed bag, but actually I would totally style this together. If you guys know me, you know, I'm totally down for like a nice top with a pair of joggers because it's just like very streetwear, which is my style. But I got this corset. I am currently in the midst of working on filming my Valentine's Day lookbook. And also I wanted to do a video for five ways to style this corset for Valentine's Day. And this fits perfectly. I sized up to size eight just because, you know, like holiday weight and stuff and I'm glad that I did because I can feel like through here this part on the waist just like runs a little bit tight so I'm glad I gave myself a little bit of extra room there and then I got these joggers these are their like regular oversized joggers and I actually got a large I wish I had stuck with the medium normally I do size up for joggers just because I like them baggy but this one is like a bit too loose but it's all good I mean, I'd rather it be too loose than too tight for something that I'm just chilling in at home. But these joggers actually don't have any kind of terry or fleece lining. It's like really weird. They're just like really thin, which is actually kind of nice for when it gets a little bit warmer. Though I do have to say, I still do prefer these old navy joggers. These are just like amazing. They're so good. Once again, old navy joggers. But the Boohoo ones aren't bad at all. But I got this little jackets like a deep red what size did I get you in I got this in an eight I sized up again just so that it was like nice and baggy and stuff and it is cute Ooh, I like this a lot I would totally wear this outfit like I would 100% wear this outfit out like with a pair of white sneakers this would be so cute such a good streetwear look but yeah here's the first look I really like this jacket it's like a cropped windbreaker this color is so gorgeous. Just love it. And then I also got a little cropped 
gray turtleneck. So I'll go ahead and try this on. I think this is going to end up kind of being full length on me, but let's see how this goes. Just because I'm so short that a lot of cropped things, unless I get it in petite, tend to be a little bit longer. And I usually end up having to do a bra tuck to get it to the kind of like cropped fit that I want. But oh, um, you know what? No, actually it fits pretty cropped. Okay. I'm very happy about that. But this is just like a good winter basic to have just like a heather gray cropped turtleneck and i like that the neck on this isn't too tight it's a little bit loose so i don't feel like <coughs> smart <coughs> sir <coughs> sir enough of that sorry about that <laughs> but anyway so that that way i don't feel like too like constricted right here but this is cute i love it okay the next two outfits are fitness outfits so i'm gonna do a full change and i'll be right back okay the first outfit both pieces are from the like woman fitness collection both of them say woman on them but the top is just like a seamless sports bra in this like mid-tone gray i really like it this one is actually ribbed and then it's just like plain in the sleeve design it just goes straight back it's not like a racer back or anything and then i love these seamless leggings so so much they have like just a bit of contouring on them not too much but they fit really really nicely on the waist it kind of like sucks you in and i love this color i'm obsessed just a really really cute set okay then this is the last outfit the last pieces another workout set this one though is their actual contour set so you guys can see on the legs it's got like these contour markings and stuff and the sports bra has like the thinner straps and then it crosses in the back and this set is so cute i really love this and i guess since i'm already in this and dressed for the gym i should go and do the cardio day i was thinking of doing so yeah, that's my uh, my haul and now I'm gonna go to the gym because I forced myself into it by doing this haul. <laughs> so it's later at night. My hair is looking gross so I just put it up in a hat but we are gonna head to Costco, go on a little Costco run really quick and then afterwards actually my aunt and uncle are in town so my parents said to come over for dinner so we're gonna go over there kind of like for a late dinner, but I don't think I'm gonna bring you guys along for that, but definitely come with us to Costco. I mean, Costco content is always great. We'll see what we can find. I have like a whole list here of stuff. I did some research last night for like some good things to get at Costco, cause I always feel like for some reason we get everything that we need, but I always feel like we are missing out on stuff that's like really, really good deals. So I tried to do a little bit of research, but honestly, I feel like it's one of those things you don't really know till you get there, you know? Okay, we're here at Costco looking at some TVs cause our TV upstairs broke. What are you thinking, babe? Oh. Well, that's helpful. and we ended up not getting the TV. Trevor decided that he wanted to do a little bit more research before we got it, so we might go next week and get a TV. But I'll do a little quick haul of what we did end up getting today. First off, we got the rotisserie chicken. It's so good. If you guys haven't heard of Costco rotisserie chicken, definitely check it out. It is bomb.com. Then we also got some basil pesto, some of the Kodiak Cakes Power Cakes mix for our waffles. And then we got this wine. This is Pessimist. I have no idea what it is, but Trevor picked it out. Some whole black peppercorns because we are out. Some Coke for Trevor. Some ciabatta, frozen pre-cooked shrimp. And this one has the tail off, which is nice. And then I was so excited when I found these. These are Parm Crisps, but they're everything flavor. And these are so good. I've had these in like the bigger size, but I'm really excited about this because these are bomb. Some salami, you guys know we love salami here. 
And then I got my regular like Popcorners variety pack that I always get. And then I also found this, which I was really excited about. This is truffle, Parmesan, and garlic seasoning. And I'm really, really stoked on this because we also got some chicken wings because if you remember from Christmas, we got an air fryer, which we haven't tried yet. So we think we're gonna do some chicken wings and then I wanna use the truffle for my wings. Then we also got some Tillamook, some organic chicken stock because I've been cooking a lot more and I always need chicken stock. So we got that some of this three berry blend for my smoothies, a salmon filet because I think I'm gonna do some salmon in the next couple weeks, and then also got a big pack of Havarti. I introduced Trevor to Havarti cheese and he loves it, so we got ourselves a big pack so that we have enough for both of us now, but that is everything that we got from Costco. But Trevor is upstairs showering. I'm gonna put all of the perishables away and then we're gonna head to my parents. Like I said, since it's a family thing, I'm not gonna vlog, so I'll just probably see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh, and totally almost forgot. I got myself this Suja green juice. This is the Mighty Dozen. I've been thinking I want to start getting back into green juice, so I got a big bottle of that. All right, you guys, we are finally pulling the trigger. We are getting our pantry cabinet set. So we're getting this one from System Build in the black, the 36 inches, and we're just like relieved to finally be getting this. But yeah, it's about six feet tall. Definitely going to change out the handles at some point. That's not like a huge deal right away, but eventually so yay all right hey there you guys just got gas you know exciting stuff here but i had been hoping after our little costco run yesterday that we would not need to go to the grocery store this week and i have to head back to the grocery store because a certain puppy decided to houdini himself into our trash and ate half of an entire rotisserie chicken, bones and all. So before anyone panics, we consulted with vets. He's fine, especially at his size and the way that he probably just chomped through the bones. Half the danger is gone, like he already swallowed it. He's not gonna choke on it. So there goes the danger of him choking on it. But we're supposed to just like monitor him over the next few days, make sure you know there's no blood in his stool, that he's not lethargic, losing his appetite or anything like that, just to ensure that nothing punctured his intestines. But the main concern is the amount of sodium and fat that he just ingested. He needs to be put on a very, very bland diet for the next like, week or so so right now he can only have like boiled chicken white rice and they said to put some either like canned pumpkin or canned sweet potato into his food or bread to kind of help bind any like bone fragments that are in there and kind of like coat his stomach so that they don't like scratch up his insides so i'm on my way to go get all of those supplies and like after we you know establish that he's fine like he's doing fine he's acting like nothing's wrong i was like laughing about it i was like wow this fucker gets into the trash which is a huge no-no. He's very much in trouble for that and eats an entire rotisserie chicken. And what does he get as his punishment? Chicken and rice for lunch and dinner. Like he just lucked out. I swear to God, this dog. But you know, we're just gonna keep monitoring him, making sure that he's fine. We're glad that he's fine so far, but I was just like, really this this freaking dog but the other thing too that i wanted to pop on here for is that you guys saw earlier we finally pulled the trigger purchased our pantry i know that like a few of you guys have asked about it i wanted to keep you guys like up to date on the timing and stuff because i know it's been like such a long time coming we were gonna go with one pantry and then when i did more research today before we decided officially on that one i found a different one that was even better it was a little bit more expensive but it's you know worth it for the fact that it's more of what we need and we love it we absolutely love it we're very excited about it the only thing though is that it takes like 10 days to ship out so we're probably not going to get it until the beginning of february just fyi in case you were hoping that it would be in this vlog or next vlog that we build it and show it it unfortunately won't be for a few weeks but i will obviously be vlogging that and everything when it finally does come in i mean we still have to build my bookcase <laughs> which we've been so lazy about it's not gonna happen this weekend i'm so sorry you guys probably next weekend because i don't have anything going on next weekend so that will probably be a better time for us to build my bookcase but yeah really stoked about the pantry glad to be able to move all of like our snacks and like cooking stuff out of the cabinets so that we can have that space to put the appliances in that was really like the big motivator today actually as buying the pantry was that i wanted to use the air fryer tonight but then we realized that once we unpack the air fryer we have nowhere to put it so we were like screw it let's go get the pantry which does mean that we're gonna have to wait on the tv for a little bit but that's fine we definitely need the pantry more we've been waiting on the pantry for much longer 
So I'm just like glad and relieved that that's finally done and out of the way. And now we can move on to other things that I personally feel were more important, like our coffee table. I am dying for a coffee table. We have one pretty much picked out, but that will probably be like next month or the following month in March. Just kind of like depends on if like any financial surprises come up. Hopefully, fingers crossed that nothing does especially Spartacus after that chicken carcass. But yeah, I'm excited to see that the place is kind of coming together a little bit more in the beginning of this year. It's like definitely motivating to like keep going and kind of finish things up. And I know like when it comes to home stuff, it's never gonna be 100% done. You're always gonna wanna like switch things around, but we've been missing such big pieces in our house that would really help to just like make things feel a lot more finished. So I'm excited that we are finally making progress on those things and I just can't wait to see everything come together. I'm back home and I've been boiling Spartacus's, I almost said Trevor's chicken and rice, but it's Spartacus's chicken and rice. So I gotta get this all set up for him. So got him a little pumpkin. Yeah, please stop yelling. He knows it's dinner time and he does this every time. It drives me up a wall. Hi, yeah, this is for you. Oof, got some rice. I used the good rice for you too. I used the jasmine rice. Honestly, bro, spoiled much? Bro, your dinner looks like probably better than ours. So I don't think I've ever showed you guys his bowl. It's like this little maze thing and it slows him down when he eats because he eats so fast. My sister and brother-in-law gave this to us. They used to use this for their dog when he would eat too fast. Their dog though actually learned to eat slower. Spartacus does not. So he always needs to eat dinner out of that bowl because he, just, he eats way too fast. It's just like ridiculous. Excuse you, sir. Yeah, go sit down. You know the drill. There it is. Like this dinner looks so good. What the hell? Ah, ah, excuse you. I did not say you could go. Don't mind all the Christmas stuff that we still have not put away, but. Okay, go. <laughs> but you guys can see what I mean. Like it slows him down because he has to eat around it. And I'm so sorry. His like box is like so gross. He just slobbers all over it. We like try to clean it, but it honestly just gets that disgusting he's honestly not really a slobbery dog but when there's food around it's just like ridiculous all of a sudden it's like turning on a faucet with him i'm gonna get started on these shells let me go ahead and preheat this i washed out this pan we use that for our shells but some jumbo shells some panko breadcrumbs i have some tomato sauce i got the tomato basil from rayo's i've heard that this is like the best tomato sauce. We don't really use marinara or stuff like that. We're not marinara fans. We prefer pesto, but for stuff like this, I'm willing to do it. And I figured I'll go ahead and try this, see what the hype is. We have some part skim milk ricotta cheese, some mozzarella and provolone, and some Parmesan. And then I have the rotisserie chicken from Costco that I'm gonna use for this. Don't mind that, that's like all sports food. I need to let it cool before I pack it up. And then what else do I need? I need one egg, which we for sure have eggs. And then we need minced garlic. And then I need to do a little bit of basil, which I have dried basil that I'm gonna use. So we are ready to go. As soon as this water boils, I am gonna put the shells in. I already have the oven preheating to 375. And then I think I'm actually also gonna do some broccoli to go on the side, just like some roasted broccoli, which I'll bake along with the shells.
the broccoli ready to go to be roasted and I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and use this on it, this truffle Parmesan black garlic seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in with the shells. Okay, so here's the final product. Got the shells, got the truffle roasted broccoli, more shells. These just look so good. I can't wait to dig into all of this. Just waiting for it to stop like bubbling and cool down a little bit before we start eating it. Oh my God, this looks so good. Like it looks fire. So I'm having dessert, just my little new favorite healthy dessert. Oh, uh, by the way, quick follow up. I tried one of these milk chocolate confetti cookies and these are really really good. They're not like mind-blowing but they're definitely good for if you have like a cookie craving. It's not a bad cookie for like a pre-packaged cookie so just in case you're curious about that I tried that the other night and then I'm gonna have a little unreal cup but you guys these shells so I realized I didn't tell you guys these are actually chicken parmigiana stuffed shells and wow they're so good. Trevor is obsessed. He can't stop eating them. They're amazing. And then the um, broccoli with that truffle seasoning on top of it was so, so good. But we're just gonna finish watching WandaVision right now. And then I'm pretty much gonna pack up for the rest of the night. I don't think I told you guys, I'm shooting with Michelle tomorrow. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're gonna go shoot in Santa Ana, which has Hopper and Burr, which is a local coffee place, and they have the best iced chai latte in the world, like hands down. So I've been craving that, and also their chocolate pretzel croissant. So I asked if we could switch our shoot to there tomorrow, and she was totally down for it. So tomorrow, we are gonna go to Santa Ana. I never cared much for the traffic in Midtown. So I moved down south, I don't know where you are now It's getting exhausting, trying to imagine Settling down when it's already happened A piece of my heart is stuck in Manhattan The last four years, you're all I've known I guess I forgot how to be on my own I'm going out of my mind Just wasting my time But it's too far gone I should've moved on Don't even know if it's love now With all this distance all this time Keep wondering if you're doing fine Trying to put me out of your mind While I'm going out of my mind Hey guys, so it is Sunday and I am shooting with Michelle today. I'm on my way to downtown Santa Ana, but unlike last time, I actually have an extra battery for my camera, plus the current battery in it right now has like 60% battery left. So I'm actually set this time. Thank God I actually grabbed everything, but I'm almost there. Unfortunately, Michelle is in traffic, so I can like hang out for a second, which is fine because I need to finish up this first look, which is one of the Valentine's Day looks. All right, so I'm here just waiting on Michelle, but I am about to switch out the lens on this camera. I like to shoot my Instagram photos now with my bigger lens. The lighting here is not great, sorry guys. But I'm gonna switch this out, which means for vlogging, I need to go grab the other camera. I honestly constantly debate throwing this out because I mean it records so I mean I really won't but I can't see myself and half the time I have it on like the wrong setting and I can't use the footage but I mean it comes in handy when I have to shoot photos with this camera and I want to keep vlogging so not a bad camera if you were still looking for a YouTube camera on a budget this is about like $300 new actually maybe even less so for anyone who is aspiring and doesn't have the money to drop a grand on I can't really like the one I record on now. This is a really, really good budget find. Hello there. Hi. Ah. <laughs> I'm the first person that it stopped working for. There's a huge line of people. No. There's that sign over there that they have on this side. Uh-huh. You should put it right at the front. I know. Because everybody's 
going to park in and then it's blocking that whole street. And yeah. then this is one way. Yeah. I was like, and then I get to the gate and she's like, it's suddenly not working. I'm like, am I stuck here? There's a huge line of people. Ugh. So apparently there's like an event going on here today. So they blocked off one side of this parking structure and you have to like go around and it's just very inconvenient. There's no warning signs. Like the second you pull into the street, it's like, hey, you can't pull in here and you have to like figure out a way to go around. Very annoying, which also means by the way, it's, I don't know if you saw over there, it's very crowded it's today. So, crowded. so we'll probably have to stay on like the outskirts. Yeah, so we can't like shoot the actual main downtown area we don't really typically but still like we for sure don't have that option today taking a break after one photo but <laughs> <laughs> one look one look one photo but we're here at hopper and burr love this place i was telling you guys about in the car i had my chai latte and they were out of the chocolate pretzel croissant so i just got a regular pretzel croissant which i'm sure will still be good but i'm a little bit bummed because i was really craving that other one but and then look there's like a little baby corgi in here Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, buddy. We just finished shooting me in this outfit and I had on. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's already laughing. She knows what I'm going to show you guys. But I had on this like leather trench coat and then I had on my thigh high snake boots and I couldn't deal with it anymore. So <laughs> I just rolled them down for while I shoot Michelle's outfit. So that's what I look like right now. Michelle singing Super Freak. But anyways, oh, okay, <laughs> you're fine. We just got done. We're gonna go get some food or some more food, I should say, because I ate. Um, I also ate. Yeah. <laughs> but we are getting so fast. That took like, what, less than three hours for four looks? It is 2.41 and we started at one o'clock. Wow, and I did four looks. Technically yeah. five, because I had that quick switch. Yeah, we took yeah. time. To I took like shoot. four and a half. Works. Yeah. yeah, and we stopped for a snack. And so, we for a snack. And wow, we yeah, wow, we're, we're, gonna, we're so good at this. It take us <laughs> we did like three outfits, and it would take us like eight hours. I know. Why did it take us that long? What were we doing? And you know what it was? Is we, we weren't were, even eating. <laughs> we weren't even eating. I, you know, I think what, what it was is we were trying to take the same outfit in like 40 yeah. different backgrounds. Yeah, we, we were doing that. that. And then I think we quickly learned like, okay, yeah. we don't need 40 different backgrounds. It's better to have like. A couple backgrounds and like 40 different outfits yeah exactly. yeah and then we would well. post like seven photos of, of the same in, fucking like, outfit because like, there was no carousel at that time yeah it was like we would literally post like seven photos in yeah. a row on instagram with the same outfit yeah Ugh. but thank god we like learned we're so quick now was wow. it two years ago three years ago yeah wow we've been shooting together for that long two, it'll be two years in march yeah oh my god our anniversary <laughs> Go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm boxing up shit that you left on my nightstand. I have to wear this is never what I planned. The hoodies, the t-shirts, the handwritten notes, the book from your parents, I never let go. You last so much more than your words and your clothes. So Just wasting my time When it's too far gone Should've moved on Don't even know if it's love now With all this distance All this time Keep wondering if you're doing fine Trying to Get it buddy You got it You got it Don't let him take it Got home and Trevor showed me he pulled out his varsity jacket from football from high school because like university stuff and varsity style is in lately. So I had told him that if he ever wanted to pull it out, I would wear it. So this is his Letterman jacket from football in high school. Try it on really quick. Cute. Oh, I'm definitely gonna shoot him this sometime. <laughs> Love it. How fun. It's like nice and cozy. Uh, I would totally shoot this outfit too. Like, this is cute. This together, love. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it all the way to the end, you're a real one and I love you even more. And I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Bye.
in love with the memory Gotta move on, find somebody To fill these empty spaces Take me to new places Give my heart a break, yeah I know I'm in